All right, we are doing a folding surprise picture of a puppy inside of a present. So we've got our three presents on the outside, and then when you fold it up, surprise, there's a puppy inside. Okay, so we're going to use simple lines and shapes that we know how to make. And we're going to start with it folded. All right, I'm going to move that up. And then we're going to take our 8.5 by 11 white piece of paper, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Then we're going to take the bottom flap, fold that down, and then we're ready to draw our presents. So you would draw with pencil. I'm going to draw with permanent marker because it shows up better on the video. So I'm going to go up and over and then back down. Okay, and that is all above the fold. Then I'm going to finish off my rectangular package or square package by coming down and then across. Okay, at the top here, I'm going to make a ribbon. So I'm just going to go up and back down. Up and back down. A few times. Almost like drawing flowers on a, um, petals on a flower. And you can make as many as you want. You can make them overlap each other. It's up to you. And you're going to draw straight down for the ribbon and it's going to go right down to the bottom of the package and the other ribbon is going to be right underneath the fold line and it's going to come right across the package Okay, then the other box is going to be lower. So it's going to come out and down and then connect in the bottom there. So this one's a little bit more square. When I draw the ribbon, I'm going to make sure that the ribbon is below this fold line. Okay, and then I'm going to make my ribbon's coming down and across. And if you make your ribbon go right through, that's fine too. Still looks good. Okay, I'm gonna make my other one on the other side here. Out, down, across. Ribbon going through the middle. And ribbons on top. Okay, then I'm ready to open it up. And I'm going to draw my dog on the inside. So, I think first I'll draw these ears looping down. Okay, then I'm going to draw the chin that is underneath here, so just a curve. I'm going to make two circle eyes. And smaller circles inside there. I'm going to make a circle shape for the front of the face. 
with the nose and the curves for the mouth. Maybe a few little dots. And across the top here. Okay, so then the body is going to curve around and connect into the package. So there's the bottom of the package. And then the body's going to curve around on each side. And then we're going to put a little curve for the paw. We're going to draw a little paw print. And a circle for the belly. And then a little tail. All right, and then I believe we are ready for the coloring. So our artist for this could be Norman Rockwell because he did some paintings that have dogs in them. He painted a lot of pictures of like everyday life and an important part of American life very often is owning dogs. And enjoying our pets. So one of the um, paintings was called Grandpa and Me Picking Daisies. And there's a picture of a boy and his grandpa. And they're sitting with their dog. So I believe there were many paintings that he had with dogs in them, but that was just one that I came across. And then for, um, oh, Norman Rockwell was an American artist and he was born in 1894 in New York, New York, and he died in 1978 in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. And many of his paintings were used as illustrations for a magazine called the Saturday Evening Post. So his artwork, I would say, was probably be would probably be realism, because his um, pictures look they look like real people, pretty much. He has his own certain style. But for the most part, I say his artwork looks like real life. Okay. And a fun story to read with this project might be Ridiculous by Michael Coleman. Story of a turtle out in winter. And it's got some really good humor and there's also a dog in the story there's lots of different animals and one of the animals in the story is a dog
That's a good winter story, too. So when I color in, I very often outline the space I'm going to color inside of, and then carefully color in line by line. Okay, and then my last part for the packages. The gifts, presents, the box. Maybe if you want to write a message and use this as a card, you could say, have a positively fantastic Christmas. I hope your Christmas is doggone great. Something clever like that. So there are probably a lot of people that would love to have a gift of a puppy for Christmas. But we have to be sure that we are being responsible and that that is something that we can take care of before we adopt a puppy for Christmas. Maybe this one's a stuffed animal. Or you can just write Merry Christmas on the inside. All right, so then it folds back up. And there's the little present part. And there's a surprise. Good luck.